What's up, everybody? Welcome to The Vault Reviews. And today we're going to be reviewing an album that's uh, not really controversial, but it's going to be interesting. And that's the new Cold Chamber album, Rivals. It just came out like a week ago. And, you know, everybody was clamoring about them making a return. It's the first album they've come out with since, like, 2002. I'm a diehard Cold Chamber fan. Brent, just as Cold Chamber as a band, what do you think? Uh, I loved them from... Uh... Oh crap! I forgot the name of the first, the one with Loco and Big yeah, Truck that, that, and all that. That's just a just a self-titled yeah, album. Yeah, that's what I thought, but I wasn't 100 percent on that. And I think that was like '97 or something. Yeah, something like that. I mean, I I, I love that album. Uh, which I mean, you know, of course, it's got one of you know the most iconic songs in the world with you know talking about the roof burning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and you know their next one, uh, Chamber Music. Was it had some solid stuff on it. I actually thought it was a very underrated album, to tell you the truth. And uh, Dark Days is actually I thoroughly enjoy Dark Days, so it should be interesting. I mean, it's they're a good band. I mean, I got nothing but love for them. So, uh, would you agree that each one of those albums they changed something just a little bit? Yeah. Sound yes. wise, I mean, they yes. they weren't. It wasn't the same like a uh, corn ripoff band or anything. Like every single album, they changed every album. Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, especially you know you've got. Their version of uh, like, or I say their version. You've got Loco, which mm-hmm. is honestly, it's the first song I heard by them. Loved it. Still a good tune. And then the next one, you go to something like Shock the Monkey, with like yeah. Ozzy, and then you go to something like On Dark Days with like Fiend, and it was just there was always something different. So moving into this one, uh, it, it was interesting. Uh, you know, Rivals is 13 tracks. Uh, the actual release date's March 2nd. And uh, I, I pre-ordered it. You know, I wanted the limited edition vinyl. We've talked about that in past episodes about physical music and how much I love it. So I pre-ordered it, and this is one of my favorite bands out of that time period, the new metal period, if you will. And I was excited. I heard a lot of good things about it. I saw a lot of the web videos about it. Finally got the album, and uh, I'll, I'll just say it was an interesting listen to start that off. So what is your initial thoughts on the album and when, when you heard they were coming out with this album? Uh, I was excited whenever I heard they were coming out with it. Uh, I never really bothered like doing listening to a whole lot of Devil Driver. The little bit I listened to was all right. But I was excited for Cold Chamber coming back. Uh, but I, I was concerned that there would be kind of like a return to like the old type Cold Chamber. So it was going to be like, you know, revisiting the late 90s. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and honestly, I don't think that happened uh, not, with this not album. Not too much, no. I think they kept their core sound, but once again, making somewhat of an involvement. Yeah, they did. And it's, I don't know. I, honestly, there's there's kind of a severe love-hate with this album because to me, each song on their own, like just taken in a vacuum, is okay. They're, they're all decent songs. But for some reason together, it just, I don't know, kind of rubbed me the wrong way. It was weird. Now let's just start off with the production, top notch. Uh, the yeah, vocals definitely. are great, the guitar's great, everything sounds really, really crisp. And when you hear this, you know it's Cold Chamber. Even though they oh, haven't yeah. put out an album in 12 years, you know right off that you're listening to Cold Chamber. Uh, they had uh, Al Jurgensen from Ministry on the song Suffer in Silence, which, eh, you know, I, I was kind of lukewarm on that. It's not a bad yeah. song, but, you know, I wasn't... Yeah. Everything really solid musically for me, um, but nothing over overly technical and nothing overly original. And I don't think that's what Cold Chamber is in the first place. Do you agree? No, yeah, I, I agree with you. I really do. Uh, to me, the problem came in with I listened through the whole album one time, wrote down my notes with each song, you know, like I always do for the reviews. And something kept bugging me. And like you said, there's very little kind of unique or anything like that. I mean, you know, it's Cold Chamber. I mean, that's obviously unique, but. As far as like from song to song, to me there was very little variation. And like I said, each song taken in a vacuum is a decent song. But I just started like skipping around, mm-hmm. you know, just you know, like I pulled the videos up on YouTube, the full album, and just kind of skipped around on it. And honestly, I couldn't tell when I was changing songs. Yeah, you know that I don't think you could have put it any more perfectly than than you did. I mean. Every single, and you know, maybe that's why I got so excited about it, because they would release these songs on their webisodes they had, and they would release one like every couple weeks or something like that, and I'm like, man, this rules, and then they'd play another one, oh, this is awesome. But then when I got the album and I listened to it all the way through, I, I was exactly like you. I was like, 
all right, this is a good song, and then the next one starts, and I'm like, wait, uh, wasn't I just listening to this? And it turns out three songs had passed. Right. So it's, you know, it, it, I'm not going to say it came repetitive because it wasn't repetitive. It's just there was something that made all the songs sound similar, with the exception I have two songs that I just did not like for whatever reason, or Dumpster Dive and Orion. And I, I don't know, they were kind of just maybe weird, more experimental songs, but I didn't really care for those. As far as the rest of it, though, um, overall, I thought it was nice to hear an album come out during this time period that we're in, in 2015, where this genre is not popular at all. You know, the, the a lot of the new metal bands come back, and they try to do the same stuff they were doing in the late 90s, and it, it's they just can't do it. But I think Cold Chamber, they, they, they put out a really good, solid album this time around, and once again, evolved from their original sound. But again, didn't bring anything original, didn't bring anything overly technical to the plate. So uh, just overall, what do you think? Overall, like you said, I mean, it, it's hard to pick anything apart. I abs- Actually, I really enjoy that it's almost like wading through sludge because it just seems very, very slow to me. Like every song just seems kind of real slow. You know, does that make any sense? Yeah, no, and, and you say that, and now that I look back on it, I, I'm, I kind of agree, yeah. And it's not that it's a bad thing. It's just that it was kind of a period that way. Yeah, no, that's actually part of what I like about it. Um, I know the song, like, I Owe You Nothing. Mm -hmm. For some reason, the first time I listened to it, it reminded me of Static X. Hmm, Like the later Static X stuff. I have no idea why, but that's instantly what I thought of. And my favorite song on the album is Bad Blood Between Us, just because... Oh, that's, that's the exact same thing I have down. That's my favorite song. It's great. Yeah, and that song's actually pretty cool. But my biggest complaint with it is, is, again, you skip around and you're going to hear that constant, just straight 4-4 time, just constant kind of step. It's almost like the whole album's nothing but like a 4-4 breakdown, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, you're exactly right. I agree. You know, I mean, that's fine. You know, that's kind of what Cold Chamber's always kind of been. But at the same time, you know, it... It gets a little bit old as you're going through it a little to me. And the voice is, it's great. It's Dez. I mean, it's obviously Dez. And he does a pretty decent job, but it's very, very similar across every single song. Yeah, to uh, to kind of close this and sum it up before we give it a rating, I would just say that for me personally, I thought it was a great comeback album. You, If you like Cold Chamber, you're probably going to like this. But just don't expect anything really, you know, new and elaborate. I mean, it's Cold Chamber, and, you know, I some of the feelings that you said I had on some of their previous albums as well. Yeah. So, uh, but I, I thought it was great. You know, they, they come out when this stuff's not popular really anymore, and they do it fantastic for what it is. And I, I would recommend checking you checking this album out if you like Cold Chamber or you're just kind of looking for something a little bit different to listen to. But like I said, Brent, like you said, just don't expect anything like reinventing the wheel on this album. So on the sc- rating, the vault rating of one star being the worst and five star being the best, what do you give this album? I'm giving it a two and a half. Like I said, each song in a vacuum without the others, like if you know you were going to put it on the radio and you were going to surround it with kind of different music, I would enjoy almost every song on the album by itself. But listening through it, the whole album from beginning to end, it, it gets kind of stale by the end of it to me because it's just, there's very little variation. I mean, there's a little bit in songs here and there, but overall, I mean, it's it's kind of slightly above average, which, I mean, is what two and a half is. You know, it's kind of that average area, but I, I couldn't go a whole lot higher just because it's just that straight up, just almost constant breakdown type stuff. Yeah, the 4-4 time, like you were yeah. saying, it's, it's, it's something I noticed, but until you said it, I didn't kind of put it together, you know, so... I'm going to give it a three and a half, and that's just because I think I credited them mostly for coming out, like I said, doing an album when it's not popular and staying true to themselves. You know, they didn't come out and try to do some doom stoner metal or deathcore, whatever is popular. They they stuck to the formula, changed it just a bit, but like you said, I can't give it any higher than that because the songs are great, but when you play them all together, they just start not sounding the same but sounding just kind of uh, blah, I guess, would be the way that I would put it. So yep. uh, average out that, that gives it a three for this I album. That's a good solid score. I do, too. That's right at average, and, that, you know, it's something I would definitely recommend picking up yeah. if, if you can get it cheap or if you 
like Cold Chamber. So, any last words on this album? Um, if you love bass guitar, Cold Chamber's awesome. Always. And that is, that's one thing that I will always love and appreciate about Cold Chamber is they are a band that loves to bring that low end up. And this album has a lot of good. You're waiting through four four sludge and. It, it's it's kind of a good thing on this, as long as it's just taken in doses. All right, so with that, uh, thanks, everybody, for checking out the review. If you want more reviews, you can check all our reviews out on YouTube, and you can check out everything at thevaultreviews.com. Send us an email if there's an album you want us to review, or if you've got thoughts on our reviews, thevaultmusic1 at gmail.com. We're on Twitter at thevaultmusic1, facebook.com slash thevaultrvws, and don't forget, we have a Patreon site, patreon.com slash the vault. If you'd like to contribute and help the site to keep going and help us to keep doing more reviews and more radio shows and more podcasts and interviews, go buy a T-shirt on there or stickers. We've got all kinds of awesome stuff you can contribute to, and we'll give back. So with that, we want to thank you again for checking it out. See you later. Peace.